What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Doctor Who. This is going to be Season 3, Episode 8. Let's go! No! Martha, it's important. Did they see your face? I couldn't have. What is this? This isn't going with what the end of the last... Am I on the right episode? Otherwise, wherever we go, they're never going to stop. I'll have to do it. I'm confused. you trust me, don't you? Because it all depends on you. Take this watch, because my life depends on it. This watch is... Oh, he doesn't sleep. I thought. Didn't they say that before? That he doesn't sleep. I'm not just. I'm sorry, I tried to put it down. I was um, sorry. Sometimes I have these extraordinary dreams. I dream I'm this adventurer, daredevil, a mad, the doctor. And last night oh. I dreamt that you were there as my companion, teacher, and housemate. Sir, it can't be They're true. They're in like an no alternate thing. universe, <laughs> parallel universe. Watch. But I do remember huh. one thing. It all took place in the future, in the year of our Lord, 2007. Here's the morning paper. It's Monday, November 10th, 1913. As human as they come. 1913. Mm, that's me. Human. That's a long ass time ago now. What the hell is happening here? What in the hell? Hogwarts? Just kidding. Yes, sir. The French world spent. Morning, sir. Yes. Hi. Head in the clouds, that one. Don't know why you're so sweet on him. Not if one's that considerate, what with me being a Londoner. Exactly. You too. Paid to have fun. I know. Put a little backbone into it. Yes, sir. Sorry. Sir. Ah. What's your name again? Martha Jones. Hands like those. How can you tell when something's clean? <laughs> That's very funny, sir. I don't spack my bucket over his head. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wish. Fuck those guys. Boys like that will be running the country. 1913. They might not. Oh, good morning, Mr. Smith. Oh, oh. Let me help. No, no, I've got it. No. Um, I thought if you could take you. Good. No harm done. How was Jenkins? Oh, just a cold. Nothing serious. He received a letter this morning, so he's a lot more chipper. Mm. I appear to be holding your books. Sorry. <laughs> no, why don't I take her? Ah, oh, brilliant idea. Brilliant. Division of labor. These books, were they being taken in any particular direction? Yes. This way. When it's just you and me, I'd, I'd much rather you call me Nurse Redfern. Matron sounds rather well matronly. Huh? You could even say Joan. That's my name. And it's John, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, yes, it is, yes. At the annual dance John. at the Hall tomorrow. Do you think you'll go? It's been it's ages weird since thinking I've been to dance, with so name. no one's asked me. <laughs> well, I should imagine that you'd be, um, I mean, I, I never thought you'd be one for it. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't. I, I probably won't. But even if I did, then I, then I couldn't. Um, the stairs. It, what about the They're stairs? right behind you. Is he wow. I? It's hardly good form to enter a master's study without knocking. Her Sorry. Name's still right. Martha. Yeah. I said you fell down the stairs, sir. Just a tumble, that's all. Have you checked for concussion? I dare say I know a lot more about it than you. Sorry. I'll just tell you things. I was just telling Nurse Redfern, matron, about my dreams. They are they? quite remarkable tales. Um, I keep imagining that I'm someone else and that I'm hiding. In what way? This is going to sound silly. Tell me. I dream that I have two hearts. Well, then I can be the judge of that. Let's find out. Just one heart. Mm. Singular. I have written down some of these dreams in the form of fiction. You remember right. your dreams enough to write them down? I've shown it to anyone before. Journal of Impossible Things. Look at these creatures. Such imagination. Oh. That's quite a hobby. Yeah. Who's that, Michael Myers? That's wonderful. Quite an eye for the pretty girl. She's uh, just an invention. This this character Rose, I call her. Seems to disappear later on. Weird. Oh, that's the box. The blue box. It's always there. It's like a, a kind of cool like a magic cup that transports me to faraway places. Like a doorway. Hmm. I sometimes think how magical life would be if stories like this were true. If only. Or just a dream. Man, that book. But it's silly. Just stories. Who is he, Martha? I'm sorry. It's like he's left the kettle on. He knows he has something to get back to, but he can't remember what. You arrived with him. I used to work for the family. He just sort of inherited me. Well, I'd be careful. Are and they you sometimes faking it? familiar with him. Best remember your position. Oh, yes, ma'am. Latimer, here you are. Latin translation. Want it done by morning. Yes, sir. And no mistakes. Want it written by best handwriting. Father says he's been promoted. That means more money. You should enjoy it, sir. My uncle had a six-month posting in Johannesburg. Says it was the most beautiful countryside on God's earth. Hey. Africa. Your father. You've been reading that's... my post. Who said I know Africa? him. How did you know that? I'm good at guessing, that's all. Idiot. You're an asshole. 
Sometimes I say things and they turn out to be correct. Just little things. I can't help it. It's, it's just some sort of luck. Never mind that little toad. Who's for beer? Baxter's hidden a secret supply on Blackdown Woods. Make sure the burst is down the pub before you go past his window. Now hurry back, Baines. I'm parched. Rude. Freezing out here. Why can't we have a drink inside the pub? Things must be different in your country. Thank God I'm not saying. You keep saying that. One more month and I must freeze the wind. I wish you could come with me, Jenny. You'd love it. Just look up there. Imagine you could go all the way out to the stars. You don't all say much. Well, you go thing. beyond. That's where I'm going. I mean, I Into think. the sky all the way out. Did you see that? Right up there, just for a second. Martha, there's nothing there. This is weird. Oh! We about to get sucked up in the UFO? We got some X-Files type shit happening here. Major I don't even know why I said that. I've never even seen the X-Files. Did you see that? That's something you would. Oh, too cold to be standing around the dark. Look, in the sky. Oh, that's beautiful. All gone. Commonly known as a meteorite. No. Came down in the woods. No, they always look close, but actually they're miles off. Uh, nothing left but a cinder. I should escort you back to the school. No, we're fine, thanks. Jenny, where was that? On the horizon where the light was headed. That's by Cooper's Field. You can't just run off. Let's go. You coming or what, Jenny? Y'all should have drank your drink first. <laughs> His face. <laughs> what the fuck? I said hello. Some kind of aeroplane. Your chap's all right. Oh. 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 That's, that's impossible. Feeling all over. Some kind of door. Hello? Do not be getting up on there. Is, is there anyone there? Oh, shit. There you are. Nothing there. I told you so. And that's Cooper's Field. As far as the eye can see. Now, come on, I'm frozen to the bone. Let's go. Dang it. But I don't understand. Who are you? We are the family. Who are you, little thing? Baines. Jeremy Baines. I'm so sorry, Baines, but I don't think you could ever leave. Why can't I see you? Why would you want to see us? I, w I want to know what you look like. Right. Oh, that's easy. We look so familiar. This is a beer, then vanishes into the night. Clone? There he is. Let him in. Come on, Baines, you don't. You've been caught by the roses. But Where is it, man? There was no beer. It was gone. Pretty poor show, Baines, I have to say. You, motherfucker? What's the matter with you? All the sniffles out there. It was cold. I didn't spread it about. I don't want your germs. Might as well get some sleep. It's maybe tomorrow. Jackson's got some beer in the pavilion. Weird. What a lovely song. Oh. Hello. Talking to a machine. So she, she knows. What the fuck is happening? He had his memory wiped out or something? They can follow us wherever we go. Right across the universe. They're never gonna stop. Martha, you trust me, don't you? Of course I do. Because it all depends on you. Oh, it's broken. This watch is me. Right, okay. Those creatures are hunters. They can sniff out anyone. I'm unique. They can track me down across the whole of Diamond's place. Smell me. They haven't seen me. And their life's by the running out, so we hide. But they can track us down. That's why I've got to do I it. I like the music. I have to stop being a time lord. Then it become human. Oh. What if he I dies while he's human? Is he dead? Uh, all the times I've wondered. Some what of my questions. That question Comedian sounded arch. stupid after it came out. Rewrites my biology. I've said it's human. The TARDIS will take care of everything. Then a life story for me. Find me a setting and integrate. You'll just have to improvise. I should have just enough residual awareness to let you in. You're going to rewrite every single cell. Isn't it going to hurt? Oh, yeah. It hurts. Ah! ah. Here's a list of instructions for when I'm human. Don't let me hurt anyone. Two, don't worry about the TARDIS. I'll put it on emergency power so they can't detect. Four, no. Three, no getting involved in big historical events. Four, don't let me abandon you. And five. But there was a meteor, a shooting star. What am I supposed to do then? And 23, if anything goes wrong, then you know what to do. 23. Open the watch. Everything I am is kept safe in there. But don't open it unless you have to. Because once it's open, then the family will be able to find me. Okay. It's all down to you, Martha. I was like, what in the Your world choice. is going on? And thank you. 
but now we we should come back how does he come back though just by opening the watch Tell me to come and collect that book sir good lad yes the definitive account of mafficking by edgson price or does he get back a different way? Quite good enough. I don't think that was very You're clear. Boy. That was you seem to be insinuated it. a little bit, but... But no man should hide himself, don't you think? Yes, sir. Clever. Be proud of it. Use it. Don't open that. The secret life of truth. I'm inside the car. Always will be. Oh, oh and you stole it, you little really shit. Remarkable. You're right. Fine, sir. And remember... Use that brain of yours. You're really not looking at yourself, old chap. I didn't bother you. No, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't like you. Why are you fucking stuff up? You are not alone. Keep me Stop here. opening it. <laughs> Ugh, he is creepy. You're weird. A trace. But somehow scattered. Fucking the weird. is confused. Best arm ourselves. Activate the soldiers. No! Oh, don't go. No, 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 no. No, 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 he just picked that little girl up and was like, I'll take this thing. Yep. What the fuck? Hutchinson, excellent work. Your crew's on fine form today, Mr. Smith. We could do a lot better. Latimer's being deliberately shoddy. I'm trying my best. You need to be better than the best. They only have spears. Latimer takes it upon himself to make us realize how wrong we all are. Now, resume firing. His voice sounds like healthy grammar to me. A little bit. An accent. One minute past the hour. It's now. Hutchison, this is the time. Yes. Immediate action. Didn't I tell you, sir? The stupid boy is useless. Permission to give Latimer a beating. You're useless. Oh. Permission granted. Come with me, you little boy. Rude. Anything the matter, boys? I thought. No, sir. I smelled something. I think so. I thought I you smelled were, something. Pemberton, Smythe, Wicks, take post. Nurse Redfern. I'll give you back your journal, Mr. Smith. I was just thinking about the day my husband was shot. His name was Oliver, a childhood sweetheart. But you see, I was angry with the army. You used to know. I found myself as part of that school. Discipline is good for them. Does it have to be such military discipline? Great Britain's at peace, long may it rain. One of your stories you wrote about next year, 1914. All those images of mud and wire you told of a shadow. A shadow falling across the entire world. Well, then they can be thankful it's not true. I'll admit, mankind doesn't need warfare and bloodshed. Everyday life can provide honor and valor, and let's hope that from now on this this country can find its heroes in, in, in smaller places. In the most ordinary of. No, not the baby! Close call. Okay. That was luck. No, was right something. Can I invite you to the village dance as my guest? You extraordinary man. <laughs> oh, it's all becoming clear. The doctor is the man you'd like to be doing impossible things with cricket balls. That this man about dancing to come with alive. me tonight. That scarecrow's all skewed. Don't do it. Don't do it, Doc. The John. Head of the artist. Where did you learn to draw? Gallifrey. Is that in Ireland? Yes, it must be. You're not Irish. Not at all, oh. no. My father, Sidney, was a, a watchmaker from Nottingham. And my mother... Well, that's a pretty name. Verity? Well, she was a nurse, actually. Oh. Well, my, my work is done. A scarecrow about to fuck y'all up. All sorts of skills today. <laughs> yeah. Can I see? I don't think it looked very much like her. <laughs> Do I look like that? No. You sure that's not me? Not the Slovene. You've made me far too beautiful. Well, that's how I see you. Your widows aren't supposed to be beautiful. I think the world would rather we stopped. Is that fair? That we stop? That's not fair at all. Oh! 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 Okay! I'm never... I'm... Never what? Martha, what have I told you about entering unannounced? I wasn't on the list. Oh. 
for you. Don't let me abandon you. That's no good. What about women? Oh, no, you didn't think of that. What the hell am I supposed to do then? Thank you. You had to, didn't you? You had to go and fall in love with a human. Oh. And it wasn't me. Keep me away from the false and empty man. So weird. Oh, that guy is a fucking creep. He plays it so well. Weird. Oh no! Who's that there? Is it you, Saul? No! You're gonna make her be the mom? <laughs> Making up the family! What have I done wrong? Nothing at all. In fact, you're just what we need. She works at the school. They all lead back there. Creeper! Faint this is a very funny sir. Just shut up! There's a good girl! Mother of mine is dying to meet you. This fucking scarecrow. Stop mocking me, sir! No! Mother of mine just needs a shape. Yours is perfectly adequate. No matter if I'll... Mother of mine, embrace her. No! You look wonderful. Can you actually dance? Can you? I'm not certain. Is there anything you're certain about? Yes. There you are. Mr. Paul didn't want his afternoon tea, so Cook said I could have it. And there's enough for two. What are you standing there for? I must have a cold coming on. Problem is, I keep thinking about them. Thinking about who? Mr. Smith and Matron. He's going to leave in a few weeks. Why? It's like his contract comes to an end. Don't tell her. going to be heartbroken. Leave for where? All Don't tell her. I wish I could tell you, Jenny. I just can't. Don't tell her. Tell me. Tell me now. No. Would you like some tea? I could put a nice I'm bit of gravy in you. the pot. Shit. And some mutton. Or sardines and jam, how about that? I like the sound of that. Sardines right. and jam? Like, as one? Oh, huh? Oh! You better watch it. They found us. This is ridiculous. Martha, I warned you. And they look like people, like us, like normal. I'm sorry, but you've got to open the watch. Where is it? Where's the watch? A little you shit stole a watch. it. Did I? I don't remember. I can't think what concern it is of yours. And Do you know who you're talking to? Cultural differences. It must be so confusing for you. Mother, this is what we call a story. Oh, you complete. This, this is 1913. This is 1913. I'm sorry, I've got to snap you out of this. Oh, Martha. wake up! How dare you? I'm not going anywhere with an insane servant. Leave these premises immediately. No, you said you would never the abandon her. Cheek. You think I'm a fan? Uh, the funny letter. thing is, you did have a fob watch. Like you. Right there. Don't you remember? This little shit. Martha? Ah. Ah. Mr. Smith, no one home. He is Smith's such definitely a hiding damn some creep, man. Secret around this Mr. Smith. Maybe he knows something. Where is he? She's infatuated. You're a dangerous man. Spare a penny for the veterans of the Crimea, sir? Yes, of course. They are men, Snuck in on Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen. For a waltz. Very animated. You can dance. I surprised myself. <laughs> I would say. Sorry. I think this might help. That makes it easy, son of mine. Because daughter of mine's already there. We've been oh, invited to the dance. You guys are strange. Strange, strange. Staff entrance, I think, man. Yeah, well, think again. Ah, I do what I want. Oh, waltz. Please, not again. He's different from any other man you've ever met, right? Yes. And sometimes he says these strange things. Sometimes when you look in his eyes, you just know that there's something else in there. Something hidden. Right behind the eyes, something hidden away. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I don't mean to be rude, but the awful thing is it doesn't even matter what you think. Ah! Oh, shit. I just wanted to say sorry for what I'm about to do. Really, Martha, this is getting out of hand. Do you know what this is? Name it. Name it. John, what is that silly thing? It's my sonic screwdriver. You're not John Smith. You're called the Doctor. The man in your journal, he's real. He's you. <laughs> Rude as fuck. You will be science! Mr. Creepy Clark, what's going on? Scarecrow. 
Everything I told you, just forget it. Now then, we have a few questions for Mr. Smith. Oh, no, God. better than that. The teacher, he's a doctor. I heard him talking. You took human form. What is going on? This is madness. When a human brain, simple, thick and dull. <laughs> he's no good like this. Rude. Change back. Change back! I literally do not know. <laughs> Doesn't this scare you enough to change back? The maid told me about Smith and the Matron. Then let's have you. Have you enjoyed it, Doctor? Being human, you better, richer, wiser than at sea you answer this. Which one of them do you want us to kill? Maid or matron? Your friend or your lover? Your choice. Oh, God! Maid or matron? No, 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 no. Y'all better not. Y'all better not take Martha away from me this fast. I love her. Don't you fucking do it. I love a two-parter. This one was really good because it did a good job of setting up the story. I feel like shit's probably going to hit the fan on the second one. But that was, it was good. There wasn't too much action, but it wasn't boring. You know what I mean? I'm super excited about this, this two-parter. So let me know what y'all thought about this one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.